the beginning of this section, you learned about class constructors. If you need to initialize variables or other values for multiple constructors, you can do that in an initializer block. In this exercise, you'll learn how to create your own class initializer. Let's get started. You may have noticed that in a primary constructor, there isn't room to write any code. That is the purpose of the initializer block of code. You can initialize variables, load resources, or anything else that needs to be done to get the class ready. To create an initializer block of code, define it like this. Anything in the braces will be run during the construction phase of the class. You can have multiple initializer blocks, and they are executed in the order they are written. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we create this class. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. You can see that they happen in the order that they were defined. So initializers are a very simple way to set up your class. Here's an example of showing how to set up a full name variable to the first and last name. We're going to take our person class that we defined last place, where we pass in our first name to our constructor. Create a variable called full name. Actually, we don't have to do that. We can set it up in here. Get rid of that, get rid of that initializer, and let's give it a name here. And then we're going to print person dot full name. Let's see what we get. And we get Sam Gamgee. Next, let's see if you can create your own classes.